and welcome to today's video and today I'm filming my March favourites and I've not filmed a favourites video since like my best of beauty 2017. If you didn't know already I'm currently doing a project pan which I will link above if you kind of want to know a little bit more about that and what products I'm trying to use up. So it means that I'm not really trying any additional products, I'm not buying any more makeup in 2018 either. So it's made me really focus on the products that I have and I have a small selection of products I just really wanted to talk about because they've honestly been like my faves of this month so they're definitely worth a mention so if you want to see what my March favourites are then keep on watching. So I'm going to start with beauty products and I have four beauty products to talk about and then there's two kind of more lifestyle-y type things I want to talk about. So the first beauty thing is this Real Techniques beauty sponge. Now this isn't new, this is a product that's been out for so long and I feel like so many people do compare it to the beauty blender but only recently have I really discovered how much I prefer this over my beauty blender. This one itself is filthy because I've like literally just used it. Um, but I prefer this because I feel like it goes much bigger and it goes a lot softer than my beauty blender does. And I feel like this does maintain its shape. I sometimes find that the beauty blender when I'm using the pointed side quite often, it almost kind of goes in a bit and it kind of loses its shape really. And yeah, I just much prefer this one. I don't know really what else it is about it, obviously it's a lot cheaper than the Beauty Blender so that's a huge selling point but I just feel that it applies my foundation much more smoothly than my Beauty Blender does it just feels a lot softer and because of that I definitely have been reaching for this like so much I still have a Beauty Blender upstairs but I have plenty of these that I would rather use and the fact that I've actually been using this all month long is a testament to how much I love it Next up is a concealer that I'm sure you would all be so drunk if you had a shot every time someone mentioned this, but I'm talking about it too, and it's the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, and these two guys are actually in my current project pan, so that's where I'm really focusing on using up a product. I got this in January when it first came out, and there was so much hype, everyone said it was so good, and I had to try it. And I've actually pretty much used a whole one up. There's not a ton of product in each container, which is a little bit disappointing because even though it is really cheap, I don't feel like it lasts very long. Um, so I have almost used this one up and I've kind of began to use this one too because this, you know that when concealer goes a little bit kind of too sparse and it doesn't really come out, um, that's where this one is at at the moment. So I'm going to try and remove the stopper and get as much product that's still in there out. Um, but I have moved on to this one just for the mornings where I need to like hide my face sins. Um, but this has been a definite favourite of mine. I would swear by my collection 2000 concealer. I feel like that has been everyone's favourite for so long. And I just feel like this has come out and blown it out of the water. I much prefer this one. I feel like it sits on my skin much better. It gives much better coverage. And it's like mildly cheaper. Like the collection one's like... £4.19 and this one's £4. It's ever so slightly cheaper. You do get less product in here but I have been reaching for it so much and it is just so full coverage. This colour as well is perfect for me. This is C2 and it just blends effortlessly and I just feel like it is a full coverage concealer but it is often very difficult to get a full coverage concealer to feel so lightweight on the skin so this has just been my concealer of choice so far this year and I've not stopped using it since I got it which is why I've basically used a whole one up but I just love it I just feel like the finish looks so good and you know the hype is real it's so good. Now this next product is a product I have spoken about last year and I'm not too sure if it was in my 2017 favourites, I feel like it may have been and it's the RC May No Colour Powder but this month I recently finally invested in like an actual powder pot for it and because you know the way that the product actually is packaged at the moment is in like a salt and pepper kind of shaker type like packaging and it's horrid to use. Like, I often have to tip it out of my hand. I tip too much out, I can't put it back in. It's just a hot mess, and I just feel like powder goes everywhere every time I use it. So I finally invested in just one of these kind of cheap, um, like, powder pots. I'll leave a link to this down below, because if you do have the RCMA No Color Powder, 
but find like it's just such a pain to use. Buy one of these, this was like literally a pound from eBay and I just finally decided that I needed to buy it because I just couldn't go on. And this just helps to manage the product so much better. I often just use what's often in the lid and then if I do need anything extra, I can use what's on the top layer of this powder pot and you know it just makes it like a traditional loose powder and it has improved how i use it so much the product is still amazing like i never could fault it before but you know using this little container has just like literally transformed the way that it is and by filling this up i still got two thirds of the actual rcma no color powder in the pot which is amazing because you would probably pay loads if it was sold like this so you know you do get so much product for your money and that's definitely not a flaw of the product but it is just so messy when you use it so by using it in this i just find that i use this all the time i do have another powder in my project pan that i'm currently using but i'm going to be updating you the progress with that one very soon because you know i can definitely use another powder alongside that one i don't like strictly kind of limiting myself to the products in project pan because i just get bored um but it's quite nice to use something slightly different and this is just perfect for baking so this has just been one of my go-to powders for the month and last but certainly not least in the beauty category, I have lip pencils, which I have just been going to so often. And these are both from MAC. So they're the same product, just in different colours. The first one is Saw, and I'm sure that you guys have seen this all before because I feel like I bought this because it was so overly hyped on YouTube and I was so curious to try it. And when I have, this is just like the perfect, like, my lips but slightly darker colour and... I just love it, like it's just such a gorgeous nudie colour. I love using this instead of a liquid lipstick because if I use this all across my lips, not just to line them, it stays on all day. I can eat, I can drink, and I feel like this actually stays much better than a liquid lipstick without looking so dry and without looking just like, you know, when your lips kind of look a bit cracked. Sometimes with liquid lipsticks, I don't find that when I use lip liners because they are slightly waxier, so they fill in the lines a little bit more. So Saw has been my go-to kind of nudie one, and I often wear this to work almost every day. Like, it's so good. I'm surprised that I have this, this much of the pencil left because I swear I sharpen it all the time because it's just, like, so gorgeous. And the other colour that I've really been enjoying is Burgundy. So this is again slightly darker, I feel like it looks quite autumnal but I definitely love wearing a kind of dark red lipstick. If ever I wear a red lipstick I definitely prefer something that's a little bit more burgundy, I feel like it just works for my skin tone a lot better. I don't really like traditional blue based reds kind of like wooby woo and stuff because I just don't feel like they look right on my skin. So this has been definitely my dark kind of lip colour of choice. I love wearing this when I have very minimal eye makeup on and this just really helps to make it look like I've made a huge effort with my makeup when I haven't. Now I have two other products I want to speak about and they're not beauty related but the first one is a perfume that I have been using so much since I got it at Christmas and this is the Rihanna Reb Le Fleur perfume and this was a 100ml bottle, I got it at Christmas and it was up to the top. Can you see how much product is left there? So there isn't all that much left and I love this scent so much. My mom got this for me because like about five years ago I would use this perfume religiously. It just smells so fresh. It's mildly sweet but not too overbearing. So it kind of goes with any kind of occasion whether that's to work, whether it's a date night or anything like that. And this was the perfume that I was using when Rich and I first got together like over five years ago. And so whenever I wear it and he smells it, he's like, oh my God, that reminds me of when we got together. So that's kind of really nice. So yeah, I've just been using this literally daily. Like you can tell because it's almost out. And I just love the smell of it so much. It's so affordable too. So even if you are looking for a really nice perfume but don't want to spend a lot of money, this is always a really good one to go for. It's often in Superdrug on offer. I believe this kind of big style one is normally about £20, which is so good for 100ml of perfume. And it stays on the skin like throughout the day. I just feel like this is just such a great perfume and so underrated. I don't ever hear anyone talk about it and I feel like they should because it just smells so gorge. So this has definitely made it into my favourites and I feel like this is going to be used up so quickly. I'm going to be gutted when it's over. 
So my next favourite is actually what I'm drinking right now and I'm basically really trying to cut out as much caffeine as I can in day to day life. That said, I drink a lot of tea when I'm at work and you know, you have to start somewhere. So I had been in the habit of waking up every morning and literally having a pint size like cup of tea. In aid of that, I've actually really been obsessed with these Tetley green tea. These are the mango and passion fruit flavor. Now I don't like green tea on its own. I feel like the taste is just like it's, it just doesn't bode well with my taste buds. I really don't like it. But when it's infused with kind of fruits, then I literally love it. So these mango and passion fruit ones, I really do enjoy. You get 20 in a box and this is, I got this in Tesco for like a pound and it's so good. But even at full price, it's like two pound or three pound, which I still think is really good because honestly, I've just felt so much more energized. When I have this, I start my day with a green tea and by the time I get to work, I just feel like a lot more positive, I don't feel as tired, and I just have like more energy. I don't know whether that's kind of because this has stepped in as a bit of a placebo effect, but I've really noticed a difference. I try to have at least a green tea first thing of the morning and last thing at night. I just feel like it really helps my body to kind of detox a little bit, but you know, whether that actually works or not, I'm not too sure, but I've really enjoyed the taste of them, especially in the summer, I feel like these are gonna just taste so nice when the sun's shining outside, so definitely a favourite and I had to mention them because I'm currently drinking one now and it's just so good. So that's all my March favourites, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you have done so, and let me know what products you've really been enjoying in the month of March. I feel like this month has just whizzed past, I feel like January was so long, and then February was really short, and then so has March, which I'm not complaining because, you know, we're another week closer to payday, but I just feel like it's bizarre how slowly the first month of the year went and then now it just seems like, oh my god, we're like almost in April. It's it's really insane. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, like I said, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!